The Canva video editor is an awesome free video editor with great AI tools built in. Here's our complete Canva video editing tutorial for beginners so you can learn how to use Canva in no time. Okay, so I'm over on Canva now. I am signed in using a free account. So you wanna go ahead, create an account, and then we can start editing our videos. So next we want to create our project. And there's lots of different presets here for different types of things we can create in Canva. We're gonna create a video. So I wanna click on this, and then we get to choose what type of video we want. There's just a generic video, 1080p quality. There's videos, there's lots of different templates. There's a YouTube video preset here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick on this one. And then we're taken to the Canva creation space. So straight away on the left here, we can see that there are a bunch of presets and things and templates that we can use over here. This is under the design tab here. So if there are different presets and things that you want to use, then we can just select these and they're going to appear here and we can edit them up. Now just be mindful that anything with the little crown down here, you'll need to be on a paid plan for this, but there's a lot of free options in here as well. So we can just say pick this clip here. If we wanna use this, it's going to be added into our project. We can then pick things up, move them around. You can see these are actual video files in here as well. And we can customize up the text. We can change the background. I love that we don't have to start from scratch to create our videos in here as well. But for the purposes of this video, I am gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna undo this here, all of my changes and even importing that template so that we are just starting from a blank canvas. So in terms of the interface here, and this will change as we go through different phases of our editing, we've got a menu bar at the top here where we will have options to customize things up. We've got our timeline down the bottom here where we can see all the different video files and things that we've brought into our edit. Now, if yours doesn't look like this right now, you wanna come down the bottom here and make sure that we are on the duration view here instead of the slide view. So we switch back to duration. We can zoom in and out using the slider down the bottom here. And then this menu area on the left here, this is really all the stuff that we can add in to customize up our edit. So what I wanna do now is bring in our primary camera footage into our project here. So I can go ahead and choose upload. And then we have the option here to upload files, or we can actually record directly into Canva here as well. So we can allow access to our camera and our microphone and hey, I'm on camera. So we can record directly into here, but for this tutorial, I am going to use video files that I have already recorded before. So I'm gonna choose upload files. I'm gonna navigate through and find the files that I want to upload. I can hold down control or command if you're on a Mac to select multiple files and then we can choose upload. Once that's done, we can see we've got our two clips here and then we just wanna bring our primary camera footage down here into our project. Now, one thing I love about Canva is that they're integrating so many different AI tools and things at the moment. So you can see straight away that now we've got a video clip in our timeline. It's asking us if we wanna try this new highlights feature where it says it'll auto select and cut out the best parts of your video to create short snappy clips. So it's awesome that this stuff is in here and depending on the types of content that you're making, this might be perfect for you. But I'm gonna close this one because I'm gonna show you how to actually edit in here yourself as well. So we've got our video here and we can see that right now it's too small. It doesn't fit our entire canvas area here, video area here. So we can just scale this up so that it fits. So at this point we can hit play down the bottom here to play our video. We can hit play here as well. Or if you wanna scrub through our footage, when we put our mouse over this little arrow here, then we can drag it through and that's going to give us a preview here of our clip. So this is really quick for you to jump around and easily find the bits that we wanna edit out. So we can see at the start of this, I know it's gone low quality, but you can see I'm kind of just double checking everything at the start of this recording, making sure I actually am recording before I start talking around here somewhere, about here. So we'll actually want the video to start at this point and we wanna trim off all of this stuff here before it. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. We can just right click down here at this point and we can choose split page. Now, while it says page, in this case, because we're editing a video and not a document, page is gonna split our clip. So if we press on this split page or press S on the keyboard, then you can see now we've got two clips here in our timeline. So we can just select this first one. We can either press delete on the keyboard or we can right click and we can choose delete page. 
and we saw that that clip has now been removed. So if we come back to the start here, our video now starts at that point. Now let's just jump across to the very end of our edit here as well. The other way that we can trim our clips down is if we put our mouse over them down here in this timeline, when we get towards the end of a clip, can be the start or the end, we get this handle that appears. And we can click and drag on that and we can change, in this case, the end point of this clip back to where we want it to finish. So you can see at the end of me recording here, I've still just been talking to myself. So we want this clip to actually finish once I finish talking, which is about here. When I let go of the mouse at that point, our clip now finishes at that point. So it's really easy to go through here to find the areas that we might wanna add a split or a cut. Again, we can use S on the keyboard. We can mark these sections out that we want to get rid of, like here where I'm forgetting what I wanna say. I can press S, I can select this piece here, I can press delete on the keyboard, and we're able to remove those sections. Or we can select the clip here, we can come across to the edge of it, and we can adjust this back for more precise control. So you wanna go through now and remove any mistakes, any bad takes, so that we're just left with all the actionable stuff, the, the clips that we actually wanna have in our project here. The next thing we can do is bring in any B-roll or overlay clips to be shown on top of our video here. So we can still hear me talking, but we're able to show other things as well. So we can come back over here to our uploads. You can see we've got a bunch of clips in here. We can obviously upload some more. We can record some from here too. Or we do have access to the elements and things that are inside of Canva that we can use in our project. We do wanna make sure that we have the clip selected that we wanna add this additional video or graphic file to. So I'm gonna pick this one here and I'm just gonna grab this clip here of the camera. I'm gonna drag it onto our video here. And we can now see that we have this clip playing on top of our video behind it. So we can choose to either scale this up full screen or maybe if we wanna have a little video down the side or something like this, we can scale it down to where we want it. But for this example, I'm gonna scale this up here so that it matches the full size of our video. And if we played through this now, you'll still have me talking here in the background while this video is playing. And we can see that it's still there. If we pick this up and move it around, there's still that video underneath it. So it's the same process. If we wanted to bring in a graphic or anything, we've got some other images and things here. We can just click and drag them onto screen and we can scale them up, move them around, and they can be on screen for the length of that clip. Now, one thing to note is if we do wanna shorten this down, we can actually create another split in our clip down the bottom here where we want this to finish. So let's say that we wanted this to finish a little bit earlier. I could press the S on the keyboard or right click and choose split. We can then click on this clip here. We can select this top piece that we don't want here on screen anymore. We can press the delete button here or delete on the keyboard and that's gone. We're now back to me talking. So the only main thing to be aware of when you're doing this is that we might need to add any extra splits or cuts into our timeline down here for our B-roll or overlay footage as well. So once you've gone through, you've added any extra B-roll or overlay clips into your project, or any images or graphics, the next thing to do is to add in any text. So I'm gonna come over here to text. I'm gonna to jump to the start of our timeline though. And then we get the choice to either add in just an empty text box, or there's lots of different presets and things that we can use for different types of titles, animated text, all of that stuff is in here. And we can actually search for what we're after here as well. Or if you'd like, you can even come back here to the design area and you could find some animated text and graphics and things that we could pull in. But for this, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna choose text. I'm gonna add in a text box and we can just type out here what we want on screen. So it could be my name here. Let's select this text. We can then customize it up. So we could choose our primal video font, which is Oswald. We can make it bold. We can scale it up using the little handles here. Maybe something like this. Let's reduce the letter spacing. We can do that here. We can also rotate it if we'd like to. We can pick it up, we can move it around. Maybe we'll put it here. Very, very simple, very straightforward. We can customize it up with these options at the top. So obviously it's just basic text, but we can get a little bit fancier with it. With it selected, we can come up the top here to animate. And you can see that there's a lot of presets that we can choose from. I'm just gonna choose typewriter. 
so that when our video plays, that's just going to type on. And just the same as with our B-roll and overlay footage, if we don't want that text on screen for the entire 16 seconds or 19 seconds this clip is, then we can just shorten this clip. So let's say that we only wanted that text on screen for around seven seconds. We can add a split in our clip here and we can just remove it from the remainder of that clip. So make sure we're on the second one here. Let's select that text, hit remove, and it's gone. So we'll only have that text coming on screen at the start of this one, and it's gone for the next one. And then from there, we're gonna look at the different effects and transitions and things that we can apply. So if we put our mouse down between two clips here in the timeline, we can see that we get some options here. We have the option to add a transition, or we can add another page or another video file in between the two. So if we wanted a blank space, we wanted to bring up a full screen graphic or something like that, we can always just add in a gap here or a blank slide. But if we wanna add a transition or effect between two of these scenes, then we can just press the little button here, add transition, and then we get to choose what happens here with the different transitions. Now, because these two clips here are so similar, I normally wouldn't recommend using a transition like this because you can see, even if it's just a simple dissolve or a fade, it's pretty much the same clip. So it's just gonna look strange for your viewers. So if you wanna add a transition, this is where it is. But instead, what I would do for a clip like this, where there is clearly a hard cut between the two clips, is I would just zoom in on one of them so let's pick the second clip here. Let's scale it up a little bit and then let's move it back. Now, in order to really sell this effect, we wanna try and have the person's eyes in a similar spot so it's less jarring. Let's see how we've done here. If we go back to our first clip now, so that's now a zoomed out shot or the wide shot. We've now zoomed in on the next one. We've actually lined them up pretty good. So you can see if I play through this, when it hits this point, it snaps in, it zooms in. So it's almost like we've used a different camera or something. It's just gonna break it up much better than having some sort of transition effect. And this is what we use for most of our YouTube videos. So you can easily now go through and zoom in on some of your clips or add transitions between them if you need them. But in terms of effects and things, we can select our clip here in the timeline, then make sure our video track is selected. And then up here under edit, this is where we can access some things like background removal. So if we want to replace the background, we want to cut me out and put me on a different scene, we can do that here. Now that one is a pro feature. We can adjust how these things look so we can apply different filters, different effects, and all of those kinds of things in here as well. And let's say that we liked this one, but that's probably a much or a bit intense. We can dial it back with this intensity slider, or if you want to dial it up, we can do that here too. But this is also where you'll come if you want to slow down your clip. So you can see our playback speed here. If we want to slow it down, then we want a number that is lower than one. And if we want to speed it up, then we want a number that is higher than one. So it's going to play back faster. Now, just like we were able to animate our text, now that we have this clip selected as well, you can see that we've got some other options up here too. Like we can add animations to our clips when they come on screen at the start of this section as well, if we want to. So we could press animate, and you can see here we've got some different animations and things that we can apply. I think the screen recording struggling with displaying some of these, but you get the idea. And if you're applying any of these, a lot of them have customization here as well. So the speed, the direction, so we're not just locked into just using these animations, but if you find that you don't want this animation happening, then we can just hit here, remove animation, and it's gone from that clip. Now from here, we can go ahead and add any audio or music to this video as well, if we'd like. So we can come down here to audio and there are some built-in music tracks inside of Canva. What I would recommend though, is that you're using music from places like Epidemic Sound or Artlist or Creator Mix, where you know that the licensing is all good and you own the license. So you know you're not gonna have any issues in the future. That's what I would recommend. But there is music in here that you can use. You can see some of it here is pro, but there will be some free music tracks and things in here too. But I'm gonna go ahead and upload our own music file here. I'm gonna choose upload a file, we're gonna pick our MP3 here from Epidemic Sound. And once that's done, we can play it if we'd like, or we can just click and drag it down here into our project. Just go below the video files though. So we can see that this is now on our timeline as a separate clip, that we can drag it around to start where we would like. But we also have the ability to trim this down as well. So we've got these handles here where we can adjust the start time, the end time of our clips, 
and obviously where we want it to be in our project. And now that we've got our music in here as well, this is a good time to start to adjust your volumes. So what I would suggest that you're doing first, now that you've got your music track in here, is we wanna right click, let's choose volume, and let's just lower this down, let's mute it for right now. Let's get the volume set right on our primary camera footage here first, which Canva does a good job of automatically adjusting this for you. But we wanna make sure that our primary audio here is set right first, and then we adjust the music so that it sounds good and not too overpowering for our primary audio. So I've selected our first clip here. I'm then gonna make sure we've got our video track selected here. And then we can choose audio at the top. Now in here, we've got our volume slider. So if our volume is too loud, we can lower it here. But we also have the ability in here to enhance voice. This is another pro or paid feature where it's going to use AI to do things like remove the background noise, to make everything sound better. And it does a really good job. But there's also times where you might wanna get a little bit more advanced here, and we can actually choose extract audio. And if we do this, you can see now it's adding this separate file down the bottom here. It's taken the audio from this clip. It's now positioned it even lower down the bottom here. And this means that we can adjust this in more detail if we need to. For most people, you probably don't need to do this. But for those of you looking for more audio adjustments and maybe having audio from one clip play into the next clip, then we can do this here if we separate out or extract out that audio. And with this bottom clip selected here now, you can see we also get some options up here to add in a fade. So we can fade in or fade out our audio. So it doesn't just start playing, it can come in a little bit quieter and increase volume over time or fade out at the end. And there's also a beat sync option here. This would be more for music, where it'll help us match our cuts here to the beat of the music. So once we've gone through it, we've made any adjustments that we need to for this first clip here. If we do need to make further adjustments to the rest, we can go through on a clip by clip basis. Also, if you do have things like these B-roll clips, if they do have their own audio, then you'll wanna make sure that you are adjusting those up or down as well. So with this clip here, this top one, let's say that we didn't want any of the background sound, I would just mute it for that clip. So we're not gonna hear any sound from this clip, but we'll still hear audio from the clip behind it. Once that's done, we'll then wanna come down to our music track. We wanna go ahead and unmute it. So we can come over here to our volume control. Let's unmute it. And then we're going to adjust this up or down to match what it is we're after. Normally what I find, depending on the audio track, is anything from 24, five-ish to about 35-ish, if I've got someone speaking like this, is a good place to start. So you wanna make this adjustment. You'll then wanna play back your video, ideally with headphones on, so that we can see if we're happy with how this mix is going. There's no right or wrong with this. This is a creative thing, but we wanna make sure that our music isn't overpowering what's been said in the video. But once that's done, we've played back our edit. We're happy with how everything is. We've made any minor tweaks or adjustments that we need to, and we're ready to save it out. We wanna come up here to the share button. Then in here, the one that most people are gonna use is this download button. This will just save that down to your computer. But there are some other options in here that are worth knowing about if we come to here. You can save this file directly to Google Drive or Dropbox, OneDrive. There's also direct posting to social media if you're Facebook, Instagram, X, or TikTok and some other options in here for you too. But like I said, the main option is going to be download where we're actually saving this video file to our computer that we can then share or upload it wherever we wanna put it. So I'm gonna choose download. Now by default, these settings here should be exactly what you want. You're saving here a video file for us. The quality for us, we already picked was 1080p. If you're on a paid plan, we can adjust this slider here so we can increase the quality or we could lower it from 1080 if we needed to as well. And we also have the ability to not just export the entire video, we can just choose how many of these pages or sections of our video we wanna export here too. But when you're happy with this, we just hit download and we can see that file is saving out and downloading to our computer. Now that you're up to speed editing in Canva, we've got some other related videos linked on screen to help you find the best stock music sites and stock footage sites to help you level up the videos that you're making. As always, there's a bunch of other resources and tools linked in the description box below to help you even further, and I will see you in the next video.